Welcome to Unbought Secrets, a channel where my truth becomes your entertainment. Today's video is a part of a larger segment that I like to call Honesty Hour. It's tea time. And today I'll be talking about how I was ghosted and stood up in the same month by two different guys. So grab a glass, and I'm featuring my Petty Relations mug. Thanks, Nikolai. So yeah, grab a glass of your favorite tea, or in my case, red wine, and we're just gonna get to sipping, okay? Okay. So the guy who ghosted me, um, so I met him on Hinge, and you know, he sparked up conversation first. The conversation was pretty great. I mean, it was good enough that we were able to take the conversation off of the app so I gave him my number and I think the next day we FaceTimed. This guy was pretty cute. I mean he was tall, he was dark, he had a nice smile, he was educated, what else? I mean he was skinny but um, other than that he was a really good looking guy. So I thought you know this was going somewhere because we talked for hours our first conversation and and when I mean hours, I mean like we talked for like eight hours um, off and on. And it was just a great conversation. We talked about any and every single thing. And then from then we would just talk every single day for like a week. And then around after that week, we decided um, to finally meet up. Uh, we went on like a little casual date. It was like at a local sports bar. Um, I thought it went well, but he also didn't talk as much during the day. Um, but I mean, I didn't think anything of it and we just hung out for the rest of the night. So fast forward, we would still talk, but I would notice that his energy felt off. Like he either would not answer the phone and call me back later. He'll be very short on the call. Um, and then he just stopped calling all together and now he would even reach out he just would never answer so I just I said my little piece as far as like oh it's obvious that you ghosted me it's fine I just want to know why but he never responded so I just took the L however comma he still views my snapchat stories and my instagram stories so apparently he cares about my life he just doesn't care to be with um me Which is weird because I don't think I've ever been ghosted before. Usually I'm the ghoster. So being ghosted just feels weird. But yeah, moving right along. Okay, so then also on Hinge, I meet this other guy. This guy was actually out of what I typically go for. Um, he was not black, um, he was actually Asian. Um, and our conversation was pretty cool it was pretty chill we just talked about like very superficial things and he was just like oh let's go to the movies and i'm just like i'm dying to see us so i'm gonna go to the movies so um we even confirmed that we were going on this date on the specific day and time that um he suggested so i get dressed and i drive out of my way <laughs> to this theater I had to pay for parking at this theater and the tickets were super expensive and um, around this time I don't think we never we never exchanged numbers up until this point so I'm messaging him on the app giving him my number so he can find me but when I go to look at the app again he disappeared like he was nowhere to be found he essentially unmatched me and it was just like weird because I'm like, did I do something wrong? Obviously not because we didn't meet in person and from the last conversation that we had, it was pretty evident that we were going to go see this movie. So I ended up going to see the movie alone because I already paid for this parking, I already paid for this ticket, so I'm going to go see us by my damn self. And I guess these two incidents just made me more reflective on the method in which I'm looking for guys. Um, I don't think dating apps are for me. 
I also know my approach to dealing with guys is definitely not to ghost them because being ghosted sucks. So I apologize to every single guy I've ever ghosted in my life. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It also makes me reflective of the type of person I am, especially with the first guy. Like, what am I doing that's, I guess, and essentially scares guys off. <laughs> Which, like I said, I've never been ghosted and I've rarely had those experiences. Where, actually, I've never had those experiences where I was ghosted instead of. <laughs> I really just wanted to share this story or stories just because honesty. So I guess moral of the story is I need to leave my house and find guys naturally, but I don't know where to meet guys in Houston. I have no idea. It's just so much easier to swipe left and swipe right. But like Tinder, I don't think Hinge is the move. That wraps up the video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, please don't thumbs down. Just go watch another video. If you want to join the Unbottled Secrets family, hit that subscribe button. And if you want notifications on when I post videos, hit that bell. And if you want to follow me on my socials, my social media accounts are as follows. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye, you all.